undefeated Tiger, the undefeated Buckeye. We hope you're ready. I know what, what this game's gonna look like playing in it last year. Dobbins, off to the races, touchdown, Ohio State. Ohio State showing some pressure. Sean Wade off the corner, and Lawrence is still down. Number 24, the defense is charged with target. Sean Wade is out for the remainder of the game. Uh, that was just a big momentum turn. I just gotta be the toughest guy on the field. Lawrence had a lot of room in a foot race. Play. The pass is complete and fumble, and the Buckeyes pick it up and they'll scoop and score. That's a possession and a fumble in my mind. The pass is ruled as incomplete. Yeah. A massive yeah. overturn here. Dumps it over the middle. ETN in space. Touchdown, Tigers! Ohio State needing a touchdown. Field spires in the end zone. It's intercepted. And the Tigers are not going to be dethroned tonight. Our team has definitely been fueled from that, and we've kind of had that chip on our shoulder. It's the type of game you want in the semifinals. The intensity undiminished, despite the weirdness of just 3,000 in this world-famous building. The tie to wait the winner. Here we go. Clemson, Ohio State, one more time in the semifinal. And ETN will have a chance from the four. Straight up the field and straight into the coverage team. The first play is a pop pass to Amari Rogers, and he gets the corner. Spot at that slot corner. Now he's playing out to the field. He'll have to be on, more, on point tonight as well. There he is. And on the run, ETN makes the catch. Lawrence gets it out of hands quickly. And on the run is ETN. Such a dangerous weapon as a receiver. Orling because he couldn't get out there and quit in time because of that screen. 26 yard game. Now Lynn J. Dixon spelling ETN takes the pitch and is knocked out by seven banks. Rogers in motion again. Lawrence makes the pitch and is hit as he throws over the middle. That was Warner on the blitz. And his third down, allowing only 34% this year. They bring pressure. And Lawrence off the back foot, lost it downfield, and the catch is made by Cornell Powell. Using that big frame, first and goal. Tigers. Uh, he, he's one-on-one -on -one against seven banks. He's in phase, really good coverage, does a good job adjusting back to the ball. Seven banks never really saw the ball, which allowed Powell with a slight push there, and then he comes back and makes a play on the football. Big shoes to fill in the secondary. On second and goal, Lawrence keeps it, tries to get the edge, chased by Browning, dive, touchdown Tigers. On the opening possession, they march in 82 yards in eight plays to draw first blood. B.T. Potter, the 59th B.A.T. Kicker quarter, one of the leaders of this defense, and especially in that secondary. Yeah, he's the leader in solo tackles tonight. See if that plays a role. Sherman's got it again, and he bolts up the middle. A quick burst to get within a couple of yards. And it's Fields running all the way, running into heavy traffic, and he stopped. Your ball came out. The ball was on the ground. Skalski and Spectre combining, and it's a three and out for Ohio State. So the aggressive running game that they promised not effective in the opening possession. Drew Chrisman drives the punt, and it'll take a nice bounce, and can they stop it? No signal yet. They're going to confer on the goal line to see if it crossed, and it is going to be ruled a touchback. Most of these plays scripted, and then eventually you'll see Brandon Streeter start calling these plays off that script. ETN runs into a wall. Single coverage. That was the matchup Lawrence looked to last time on third down. Plenty of time, launches downfield, and he had the tight end, Davis Allen, wide open. He'd slip behind coverage there, but overthrown. Fourth down. Uh, he, he was lost. You're all over it, Chris. He's lost in coverage. Watch Proctor way in the back near the 50-yard line. He kind of gets lost. His eyes start to look up instead of looking back, and that's what Trevor Lawrence saw. He tried to go behind 41 Proctor, who was out of position. 
Good job of protection and giving Trevor Lawrence enough time to eventually find Allen and just unable to connect. Werner got there just in time to influence the throw by the quarterback. Garrett Wilson from the 21 dances around and flags come in as he is stopped at the 33 yard line. Three and out. Let's see what they do in this second possession. Fields looking to throw for the first time. Launches across the middle, and there is Olave. He had 18 catches in the two previous games. He was hot. Try to bring pressure on Fields. Looking to throw on first down. Checks it down to Sermon, who's got space. And a first down, and is still running. Hurling men out of bounds inside the Clemson 35. Tried it the first time and got tackled. The second time, he just took it up a notch and got right over the defender. You're right. Now he's got the ball again. Running left. Sermon in the clear. Foot race. Touchdown, Ohio State. Buckeyes answer quickly. And Sermon still has the hot hand. Get the play in. That time caught Clemson napping out of position and was able to pre some for a touchdown. Alluding to certain things about signals and, and, and uh, Brent Venables maybe waiting to the last second to get the call in. What they needed to do. If you're a fan of speed chess, this is your kind of game tonight. So the Tigers back to work. Lawrence keeps it, flips it in the flat to Braden Galloway, and the tight end is knocked down on the far side. But it's a first down, not near the 40. Here for Clemson. Didn't have a single touchdown catch last year. Lawrence finds time in the pocket and delivers a strike to Rodgers, who takes a big hit from Werner. He gets up slowly, but it's a first down inside the 45. It's in this system. Within 10 yards now with 1,000 receiving yards on the season. ETN takes the pitch on the edge, spins back, but is swarmed. That touchdown run has given the Ohio State sideline some serious life now. Carey, of course, had the big reception in the touchdown drive. Play action, they flip it to him again. And wide open is Travis ETN. And it's another first down before Warner can stop him down inside the 30. Andrews is a decoy, baiting the defense and then getting the ball back to the outside. Play action throw again, rifle far side. Frank Ladson, who's just returning to health now, makes the catch, and they are in rhythm again, this Tiger offense. Another time they need to. Check it, they spotted about a half yard short, so on second down, it's Dixon, breaking a tackle, lowering the shoulder and banging for a first and goal down inside the five. And just waltzes in. Travis Etienne finds the end zone, and the Tigers are back on top. Back and forth in the first quarter. And assert themselves and send a message. And they've done that here early. BT Potter rarely allows kickoffs to be returned. And it's, once again, takeover down seven. Fields keeps it, and Knights quickly diving forward for a first down. You respect that. See Josh Myers, Wyatt Davis, part of that interior line. Fields from the pocket, launches downfield, and a diving catch is made. Garrett Wilson got deep and hauled it in. A beautiful adjustment midair. Buckeyes at first and goal. Well, Garrett Wilson can do this. He can get downfield. He has such tremendous ball skills. He against Kendrick one-on-one. -on -one. He gets behind him. Great job off of the play action. Move the safety to the middle. Creates the one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And how about the accuracy and the adjustment? Fields puts it up in the air. Allows Wilson to adjust outside to the ball. Perfectly executed by Ohio State. It's been a very accurate deep ball thrower this year. But that from Wilson was difficult and he made it look easy. On first and goal, Sermon is wrapped up, hit immediately and dropped by the fine true freshman Miles Murphy. On second and goal, Fields scans, pump fakes and just takes off. Fields makes a cut, slides down. He started the slide at the seven. That's where they'll spot him. It'll be third and goal. Goal now. Fields from the pocket, fires to the end zone, into traffic, caught for a touchdown by Luke Farrell. Didn't have a catch the last three games, first touchdown of the season, and a touchdown in a tight window as he beat Kendrick, their best corner. Lindo, when he had a wide open Jeremy Ruckert in the, uh, the middle of the field. Had a couple interceptions, he was 12-27, 114 yards, looked out of rhythm, looks like Justin Fields that you all kind of come to expect to see run the Ohio State offense early in this game. He 
Werner the senior, the top tackler on this Just defense. Good. There are the corners up tight there. Lawrence keeps the football. Big fella weaving through traffic, and Warner again right there to meet him after a two-yard gain. And it'll be third and long. Superdome. Buckeyes bring some pressure. Lawrence steps up and delivers a sideline strike. Caught but short of the first down. Looking to fire far side. Long throw. And Olave darts for a quick first down. Oh, inside. It's very painful for a memory. It was a first down catch by Wilson. Oh, ill effects of that thumb, which is wrapped after he put it out of bounds against Northwestern last week. And this is Sermon barreling up the middle for another first down before Charleston stopped him. That edge, that anger that he was known for early in his career at Oklahoma. Field looking to launch downfield. Heaves it for Olave just over his hands. He had his man beat inside the five. Keep in mind, Nolan Turner, the quarterback of that secondary, is not back there. There's some, some miscommunication right now. He is wide open. The man who's in their form is 18, Charleston. Ohio State has just a, a kind of an over-under. you got a tight end underneath, and you got a lobby going behind him. Nobody picks him up, and with his speed, he goes right by that defense. And that time, Fields, just not quite enough air underneath that one. Fields. There's some confusion at the snap. No flag down. He darts to state. They need four. Tigers crowding the line, and they pull back. Fields has time. Over the middle. Catch made. First down. Jackson, Smith, and Jigba, the freshman, moves the sticks for the Buckeyes. Another man who missed the Northwestern game. Kind of a quiet season for a five-star. Fields fakes out the defense and rolls and has some yardage and still running. Knifing through defenders, lowers the shoulder. It's a first down inside the red zone tonight to show people how good he is. Got to be careful with that mindset, though, don't you? Drops back, has a man wide open. It's Rutherford. Two touchdowns for the Buckeyes' tight ends tonight. They've been quiet for the second half of the season, but not tonight. And off to the left. He's just going to hide. He's waiting with the action, rolls. See how he just kind of hides, waits for everybody to move over. Nobody picks him up. He just kind of waited, waited patiently. Action rolled left to of the offense. He sneaks out to the right. Linebackers never saw him. And Justin Fields patiently waited to make that throw for another touchdown, his second of the night. I like the matchup with his fellow Georgian yeah. personally. Oh, yeah. It's a good start. ETN fields it at the five. Makes a cut, Travis Etienne. You just hold your breath. Whenever he gets the football, finally knocked down across the 30. He's slow to get up, so we'll keep an eye on that. All-American this season. Pitch it in the far side. Again, this is Rodgers, and he's not to create cramping, of course. Tigers need four on third down. Etienne, the receiver there, but that was an inaccurate throw. It was behind him. Wade was right in his face anyway, and the Buckeyes defense forces another punt. Back to the left side. Fields rolls to his right, puts in the flat, and again, it's the tight end, Farrell. Clemson's defense like this very often. Play action on second down, long throw. Olave's got the catch, and he's got a first down. A credit coming into this game, trying to mix it up. There's easy access, and Jamison Williams comes back, makes a hands catch. Really good about the execution and what you're asking him to do. And bursting to the middle is Sermon, rumbling into the secondary, breaking tackles. Stiff arm and is finally corralled down near the 25 by Xanders, but Sermon continues where he left off at Indy. Determined start for Ohio State. Sermon's got it, but he's got nowhere to run. Immediately met by Brian Brissy, that stout true freshman inside. Brissy, that big 300-pound wrecking ball in the middle. What a freshman season he's had. Here they come. Oh, dropped out. Third and 13. Fields does have time and now takes off. Makes a cut. Takes a hard hit by Skalski who knocks him down. Two yards short and Fields is still down. Uh, he took that shot right in the ribs on the right side of his. Right in between the, the, it looks like the rib cage and maybe the back part of his ribs. Again, a, a, big, a big quarterback that can do a lot of damage to a lot of teams when he runs, but 47, a physical tackler, hits him short of that first down and lowers the boom there.
just having the wind I, knocked out of him. I, is Bill, I'd like to ask Bill, I, and again, Bill, the, the, the targeting call that, that Chris just referred to, he did lower his helmet there for the, the uh, crown of his helmet. Uh, yeah, they've just your, stopped the game for yeah. the review. Yeah. He does I, have I the crown think. of the helmet down. Yeah. Forcible That's what contact. I, I see a targeting call here. Yeah. This would be crucial. Skalski is disqualified for a second straight game in this building. Wow. Here's Alvarez with a verdict from the booth. After further review, number 47 was confirmed for targeting. The penalty will be half the distance to the goal and an automatic first down. Number 47 is disqualified. C.J. Stroud is in at quarterback. True freshman from California who's not thrown a pass this year. Had a big, long touchdown run and mop-up time against Michigan State. There we go. I thought Justin Fields had a look in his eye like getting a drink of water. He wasn't going to be out very long. Now he's showing some toughness there. I, I'm, I bet he's not pain-free at the moment, but he's not going to no. let that stop him. This is crucial now as the Buckeyes try to stretch this seven-point lead. Fields on the run, launches for the end zone, coming back, caught for a touchdown by Olave. And the Buckeyes stretch the lead, and Fields kind of limping to the sidelines, still not right, but delivered a strike. This afternoon to, to Devontae Smith. We talked about how driven, how motivated Fields was. That was a statement play, Kirk. You're exactly right. Gets up, finds Olave, who eludes Sheridan Jones, and then limps to the sidelines. But it's Ohio State up by a couple of scores now as we approach halftime. In pain, but in front by two scores. Blake Hobbio hasn't looked right since warm-up, so he's not kicking off this time. Dominic DiMaggio is in actually the most of the kicking off this season to ETN, who feels the kick and then just backs out of bounds at the five. So that is a mental mistake, and Lawrence is going to be backed up. Chip in the middle of that defense versus when they played him with Skowski in Charlotte, it was a different team. ETN, by the way, called fair catch, so they take over at the 25. It's Lawrence running for a first down across the 35. Really grimacing and obviously in pain from that right side. Thanks, Maria. Meanwhile, Lawrence batted down to the line of scrimmage. Good job of getting that left hand up to knock the ball down. It's a screen. Rodgers comes back, but he's dragged down behind the line by linebacker Justin Hilliard. And this Buckeye defense is playing with some swag now. It's different. Affects the continuity of what this offense has been about all year. Big time. They're off the script now. They have to react on the fly. Powell makes a catch in traffic. Spins. Doesn't quite get first down yardage. Fought back near the marker, but it's fourth down. Werner and Wade combined on the stop. Sermon running into a crowded box. Now he bounces to the outside. A tough run and another big gain on first down. As he's shown these last two or three weeks. Now makes another cutback. And Sermon moves the ball near the 40. Ohio State has two timeouts. Fields steps up and took a brief look downfield, then took a big hit from Balin Specter again. Slow to get up. Minute stretch. Ohio State trying to turn the tables here. They need nine on third down. Can Sermon get it? Spins, fights, are you kidding me? They just run on third and nine and move the sticks out near midfield. First down for Ohio State. Now Fields from the pocket again, took a look downfield, just checks it down, and it's Sermon in heavy traffic, able to weave his way inside the Clemson 45. To a semifinal game. Playing with tempo, Tigers barely set this time. Fields steps up, dumps it down, Sermon again, has another first down inside the 40. Fields delivers a strike across the middle. It's Rucker. And the tight end bangs down inside the 15-yard line. Tight ends, a huge part of the attack tonight. Around 15 completions, seven different receivers. Makes it tough on the defense. From the pocket, a strike across the middle. Caught, touchdown, Rucker again. What a huge night for the tight ends. And for Fields. Buckeyes up three scores.
Chris, you're going to love this. Much as you've been talking about the tight ends, Kevin Wilson, who's the offensive coordinator and works with the tight ends, he told us on our Zoom that, you know, I've been, I've been trying to tell Coach Day we got to get the ball to the tight ends. Maybe this will be the week. It sure is. Both tight ends are active. You've talked about that. Farrell actually takes a defender with him, and it opens up this play for Jeremy Rucker and a great throw, and again, guts by Justin Fields. Big time. You got the feeling, though, they've been quiet, too quiet. If you're going to beat a Venables defense, you got to involve guys. He's not expecting you to use his major weapons, and that's what Day has done. Half time and how Nolan Turner can help this secondary out. Ray Servant had a big first half, and he bursts forward as the Buckeyes continue to maul that Tiger defensive line. Ready to play with this team in the second half. That's good news. We're told that Balin Specter, the Clemson linebacker, did have an X-ray, and Servant just weaving his way out near the 50. A rhythm and a good flow. Nice balanced attack by Ohio State. Field looking to throw at plenty of time. Down the middle of the field. Olave wide open. Takes a hit. But the Buckeyes are threatening in the red zone again. Fast with Justin Fields, making it tough on Brent Venables and his defense to get their own rhythm established. Third and eight, pump fake, end zone throw, and that's a mistake, and an interception by Mike Jones. Fields forced that one into traffic, and it's the first takeaway for the Tiger defense, much needed. 63 yards for the interception, sets up Clemson, and now Beginning of the long climb for Lawrence and company, their first possession. It's a long throw and the catch by E.J. Williams on the far side. But to put together successful drives in series to chip into this lead. Wonder if they get Amari Rodgers involved, Tom. On the edge there, Rodgers held it as 27 receiving yards in the first half. It already makes an impact play. Plays are going, kind of going back to that, hitting those edges. So they take a shot on second and short. Lawrence delivers a short strike and the catch is made by Brandon Spector, who's got a first down at midfield. Etienne, a quiet first half running the ball. Knights forward for eight. Travis, as a receiver, had three catches, but just 14 rushing yards in the first half. On second and two, Lawrence takes off and weaves his way near the marker. They'll spot him just outside the 40. Togiai and Borland on the tackle. And Travis is going to make it down inside the 40. He's been playing football this season. Play action. Lawrence launches and has Powell wide open to shove Wade out of the way. And is going to be spotted out down near the 10. And you want to go after him. First and goal right from the 10. Little confusion. And the ball is batted up in the air. It's incomplete. Seven Banks was there. ETN and Trevor not on the same page. Good hand around. Ninth play of the drive. Lawrence flips it into flat. Powell stretches for the pylon. Touchdown! And the Tigers begin to chip away. Powell beating Sean Wade a couple times on that drive. One of those fifth-year seniors who arrived at Clemson way back in 2016. So it's the dream start for the Tigers in the second half. Now, Fields and the Buckeye offense back to work. The lead has been trimmed to 14, and the kickoff must be played. It took a bounce backwards there, and Sermon there to alertly fall on it, but Fields will be backed up now inside the 10. But he's going out there. It's Sermon trying to make something of very little, and he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage by Spectre. It'll be third and long. Momentum building now for the Tigers. Tigers don't bring pressure on third and one. They drop into coverage and Fields again looking for someone. Checks it down to Sermon. Can he get there? Yes, it's a first down. Out across the 20. Well, that is a great He's job. Still running. He's still running. Is this going to be shades of what we saw from Michael Dyer and Auburn? The signal is touchdown. On the field, they signal a touchdown. Did he stay up? Did he land on the defender? The sideline says, go, go. Yeah, there's Kane Previous Patterson comes in. See if his elbow touched. Not being down. Oh, yeah. The elbow looks like right there.
Oh, absolutely, he's down with the See elbow. the rest of the body. I see what the officials saw. The elbow's down there. See, the body touched it all. Hey, you can't see it really from that angle. Goodrich After has further been review, knocked out. The runner is Comes down back. at the 23-yard line. It will be first and 10. Please reset the game clock to 7.01, please. 7.01. Big possession as far as momentum is concerned here. It's Mayan Williams. He comes in spelling Sermon and the first carry for the freshman from Cincinnati. That guy's approaching 500 yards offense. This is Williams who makes a cutback. Big fella. He's a strong runner, about 230 pounds. <laughs> Nolan Turner makes the tackle. He's waited a long time to make an impact play. Very big game. First down. He's got it again. He slipped as he tried to make the cut back in on second and ten. Four-man rush, Fields has time, launches downfield, it's Olave, he's got a touchdown, Ohio State! A deep strike, and the Buckeyes stretch the lead again, 56 yards, wow! Olave, this play took a while, I mean, it, the offensive line does a good job, look how he gets behind Nolan Turner, I don't know if they thought he could make that throw, Chris. Watch Nolan Turner, the back end of this. Right at the 50-yard line, kind of working towards the middle. He takes that crossing route, opens it up for the post, and then Justin Field shows you the arm strength and the accuracy to make that throw where he gets behind Kendrick and Turner. That midsection might be hurting from that shot from Skalski, but he just torqued that core around, heaved it downfield. Olave, of course, who was so disappointed in the end of the game last year, making the touchdown catch. By the way, it's Wyatt Davis, All-American guard for Ohio State, who was down on the field way back at the 39. So we'll await the PAT. The lead is back to 20. Another touchdown for Ohio State. Six for 132 and two. Welcome back to the fold, Chris Olave. Times 132 yards. These two guys wanted this matchup, and so far they've delivered. Lawrence looking to throw quickly on first down. Now will scramble. Has room. Pump fakes. Was very near the line of scrimmage. In fact, he may have been across when the ball was thrown. A flag does come out. Part of his body the first, was behind the line. the discussion, there is no foul. The quarterback was behind the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball. First down. Clock also is their enemy. Lawrence delivers a strike down the middle. Catch made by Allen. So he's become involved. It's the Tigers tight ends turn to make catches now. He's looking to strike back quickly. Lawrence looking to run all the way. And he'll be dragged down behind the line of scrimmage by Togiai. And the ball's on the ground. Ohio State say it's a turnover. No signal yet. Battling in that pile. Trevor Lawrence kind of set the ball to his side as he was going down. Hilliard came out with it. He can't believe. Yeah. Lawrence can't believe it's a fumble. It, it, he didn't really have any urgency to go get the football. And, and let's see what Bill thinks right here. I've got the, no control of the ball. That just because the hand is on the ball is not possession. It's not control. I've got this as a loose ball. It's a fumble. So they would not consider it control even though he's got the hand on the top of the football and is on the ground. No, that is not control. Right there. That's what we're talking about. For the review, the willing on the field stands of a fumble, first down, Ohio State. They go into any kind of slowdown. I think it's the same kind of tempo. And they throw Next again. Catch by Smith and Jigba, knocked down immediately by Booth. To find that consistency by only playing six. They were fresh, but not fine tuned at all coming in. Big pressure blitz, and they sack Fields on third down. That time. Venables brought the house, and it was Brian Brissy there to knock down the quarterback, fourth down. ETN cuts it back. He is knocked down by Warner after picking up about eight in the period. Lawrence again trying to make an impact play as a runner. You recall last year when he rumbled all the way to the end zone from 60-plus yards. He's been held in check tonight. Gets of the quarter. Can they get the snap off? They do. Lawrence on the pitch. ETN is hammered right behind the line by Justin Hilliard. And the Buckeye defense punctuates the third quarter with another big tackle for loss. Three touchdowns. Justin feels trouble even getting on the exercise bike with that grimacing. You can see he's got some extra padding there on the left side, the torso and the hip area. 
Meantime, it's fourth down to begin the fourth quarter. And another misfire by that Clemson offensive line. Suddenly it's fourth and six. Does that change the decision offense. now for Davo Sweeney? 65, oh. five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Oh my goodness. It was Matt Bockhorst that were going to go for it and fourth and short. And now looks like the punt team is heading out there. This year they didn't deserve it. The, the way they lost last year, there's no way he's coming out. Sermon breaks free. Gets the corner and scoots out of bounds. He's closed. They got 14 minutes to protect this lead. Looking to add to it. Fields down the field. Caught for a touchdown! Jamison Williams make it five touchdowns for Fields tonight. And the Buckeyes can smell it. A 45-yard strike. And Fields is delivering a performance that's going to live forever in Ohio State history. This is truly really special tonight. See Nolan Turner, both safeties. I talked about Venables needing to roll the dice a bit and being aggressive. It means leaving those corners on islands. This time it's Sheridan Jones against the fastest receiver on the Ohio State roster, Jamison Williams. Both safeties at about six to eight yards up tight, anticipating run that Ohio State's going to keep killing clock by running the ball. And instead, they see the one-on-one -on -one matchup and they take advantage of it downfield in Williams. All right, instead. It's the Tigers who've been riddled for 385 passing yards by Fields. All those Clemson DBs have been toasted from time to end last season's quest. High throw, and Rodgers has had a very quiet night. Draws a lot of attention. And a lot of speed that we all wondered how they would do defending that speed. Well, this defense was doubted when Indiana threw for almost 500 yards. Sometimes you look at some of the opponents and Nationally, they don't maybe get the same kind of recognition. Boy, four-man rush, they pressure Lawrence and force him to check it down to Lynn J. Dixon, who's tackled right near the marker by Hilliard. Mistakes that plagued him a year ago. Penalties were huge in that loss. Lawrence keeps it, and man, he has to fight. He's right near the marker. Togi, I met him again. It's going to be real close. Your teammates, and he has become a vocal leader. Lawrence to Powell, who scampers out of bounds. 11-yard gate, another first down at the 35. The guys bring some pressure. Lawrence throws off his back foot, and it's dropped. Wow, stepping in there was Josh Proctor. Had a chance at a pick six against Northwestern. Warner brought the heat that time. Yeah, Pete Warner brings the pressure. He goes right through Travis Etienne. Right there, does a good job. He doesn't slow down. He gets into the face of Trevor Lawrence, and that's why that ball floated that way. And boy, Proctor, as you said, Chris, he had one in Indy, and this time he drops another one. Flat running or receiving and didn't pick up that blitz. Lawrence again under pressure, tried to get the ball on the edge to Powell. Flag comes in. It was Wade in coverage. The, the catch. First defense, number 24, 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. The throw there. Lawrence pressured and set. Ball comes out. Clemson falls on it. Cooper got there again. The fumble recovery made by Putnam. Ray Rogers has been bottled up by this Buckeye defense. And Lawrence under pressure again. Delivers a strike. Powell breaks free. Powell knifing down and scoring. So they convert third and 16 into a touchdown. To keep some hope alive here. He would eventually turn off of his route. Look at this move right there. Does a nice job. He turns him twice, gets him in soft coverage, and then he's able to make a play after the catch for the touchdown. Absolutely crucial for the Clemson get out of that third and 16 and get seven points. So 10 42 to play. The lead at 21. Show up in that bowl game with a chip on their shoulder. North Carolina has a lot of guys not playing in that game, but uh, I love both those matchups. Fair caught by DeMario. And so let, let's see how he plays this up by 21. Well, handling the ball off to Trey Sermon has been a sound choice most of the night, and he picks up six yards. Four. Fields from the pocket against the four-man rush, lofts it into traffic. And going up trying to make a catch was Sermon. He was double covered. So a risky throw by the quarterback on third yeah. and four. They're good enough was going to be the question, but you knew they'd show up with this edge and this attitude. Lawrence to Etienne on the screen. Gets a couple blocks. Travis Etienne. Ooh. Almost broken.
But guys rush only three, but they get home. And Lawrence is knocked down, lost the ball. Jonathan Cooper got there along with Tyreek Smith. They retained possession as Karma was there. Lawrence is still well, they, down on the field. They showed pressure. They ended up only bringing the three. But Cooper, who's really starting to have a half at the bottom zero, gets around the guard. Putnam, who's trying to pull to pick him up, he gets to him. And then Tyreek Smith finishes it off where the ball comes loose. Carmen, the left tackle, is able to pounce on it. But how about Cooper? Jonathan Cooper, known as a physical defensive end, has been getting upfield and, and getting into the backfield and affecting Trevor Lawrence in obvious passing situations. Man, Kirk, you don't see Lawrence put the ball on the ground. Lost one fumble, a couple other fumbles by him have been recovered by Clemson. Now a dart across the middle. It's Powell and makes a catch to the 32 before Banks stops him. It'll be third down. Doesn't have a touch tonight. Is now in the backfield. Buckeyes are showing some pressure, but they back out. Four-man rush. Lawrence has the ball batted down. Haskell Garrett has made a big impact tonight. Line of Clemson that ran right through Notre Dame in the last game. Again, Lawrence pressured. Flings the ball to the turf. Dangerous throw. Tyreek Smith got there in a hurry. And Ohio State makes a stand. And the Buckeyes can feel it now. They feed Sermon. His 27th carry tonight, and he just powers forward for nine more. Here's Lawrence after that desperation heave on fourth down. And Will Sweeney using the play chart to kind of shield his head as he has words for his quarterback, who, barring a miracle for them, is going to lose for just the second time in his career. What a story Trey Sermon has been. Monster game breaking records in Indianapolis breaking tackles and gaining yards in flurries here Charleston finally tackle him. He's heading towards 200 tonight Personal foul face mask offense number eight oh, that was their last CFP win until tonight Sermon wrapped up by Brissy and stopped behind the line at the 30 he's that tonight It's Dixon in the backfield Throw on the edge and the catch made by Williams, who's forced out of bounds near the marker at the 37. They'll rally around that. I mean, that, that will be the talk even after this performance. And that'll be something that Ryan Dave will be very appreciative of. After this one. Third down, low throw, catch made. It's a first down for Rodgers at the 40. Thought that was not worthy really of consideration. Yeah, principle. Yeah. Tell that to Ohio State. <laughs> Field the way you lost the game. I, I don't think him ranking him 11 had as much to do with it as the game last year. That was the focus. That was what these players wanted a chance to get back at. When you're lifting weights at 6 o'clock in the morning and the score is up, Clemson 29, Ohio State 23, and it's January and February, that, that, that's all the incentive you need. Galloway with the big catch. Sets up the Tigers at the 12. And Lawrence for the end zone over the head of E.J. Williams with such great determination and toughness. Seen few things like it in all the years I've watched this sport, frankly, Kirk. Yeah. 385 I, and six touchdowns. You're right. This will be remembered not just for the, the execution, but for the way he was able to fight through pain. Lawrence almost lost the ball again and is dragged down by Browning. At the A lot of pressure on, on uh, Trevor. Fourth down here, final flicker of hope for Lawrence and the Tigers throws off the back foot to the end zone, and it's intercepted on the carom. It's seven banks, and banks just weaves his way down the sidelines, still running, and ducks down, and let the celebration officially begin on the Ohio State sideline. The Scarlet and Gray faithful here in the dome, and all throughout the Buckeye Nation and their fans around the world, this is a sweet one and a night to remember for Ohio State. Very few Ohio State fans able to witness this. Get about half of the 3,000 tickets. Everyone here tonight on their side will savor this memory forever, as will the players. Tigers are not used to losing games like this. And it's a disappointing end to a tremendous career for these seniors. 
and the junior quarterback Trevor Lawrence finishing with a 400 yard game but finishing with a loss.